Hey guys, it's Neil from the School Busters. And before I get started off, I just want to give a big shout out to Matt Moore, who's become our newest member of the School Busters. Uh, if you want to join Matt in becoming a member, um, please feel free to click the join button. Um, so, getting back to the video, this video is going to show you the new menu books um, and the one being Neo Classical. Um, menu book and I'm going to show you what's the best car and also a guide running through all the tracks uh, your reward is a five star ticket um, and the tracks are you've got Willow Springs Red Bull Ring and Fuji International Speedway uh, so Luca here is giving us a briefing he's a happy man we're all back in the cafe and he's sending us off to do a new menu book so neo classical challenge now the car that i'd recommend using is the escudio um racing hard tires copy my setup um this is the same tune pretty much that you can use on sad egno um, you could use it on le mans as well works both works well for both of them races and probably a few others um, it's a really good tune to be honest um, but yeah if you copy this setup if you're struggling with it um, pause it and then obviously make sure all the uh, digits are the same as mine um, I would recommend purchasing wet tyres and intermediates but for this particular race which is the Americas Willow Springs International Raceway you don't need wet tyres for this one but it is vital that you do get it for the other two races um, so like I say studio quality car super fast I set my brake balance on plus three fuel mapping on one um, traction control on one and as you can see straight away you just steam through them um, probably quite a lot of you are unfamiliar with this track um, so like I say because the fuel mapping's on one after lap five you want to come in and pit um, and basically just refuel the car I know the mark is there near the end I just I always go a little bit beyond just to make sure um, so refuel the car don't bother changing the tyres we've got hards on they'll be perfectly fine to last as the full race so flying lap if you're unfamiliar with this you just want to break into this corner probably at the 100 meter mark and just drop it down to about the fourth gear this one you just give it a slight little dab at the brake and then just look it's throttle control pretty much all the way around lifting off and off and on with the, the throttle until you get all the way around you're coming into the big heavy little brake here so 50 meter mark hit the brake try and aim for the apex and then just feather in the throttle again and then break here into this it's a bit deceiving flat out now keep to the right brake now off the accelerator let it roll back on uh, you can do this flat out but I'd recommend just giving it a slight little lift of the accelerator and you should be fine this one you do not need to brake just lift off the accelerator it's just throttle control um, you can go flat out all the way around until you see these little boards here uh, just give it a little break a little break you can just lift off if you need to um, and then you'll be fine it's just a big long right hand up pretty much and then it's just over the start finish um, so like I say just make sure you pit after lap 5 come in fill the tank and then you should be good to go you'll easy uh, win the race I'd recommend just putting the race on a bit um, easy to be honest um, and you'll steam through them pretty much um, so we get the win uh, didn't get the clean bonus because as you know AI is just getting your way and this is ruining that for you anyway so that's done and dusted on to the next race so we're going to Europe and it's the Red Bull Ring now as I said before you do need intermediate or wet tyres on this one so same again brake balance is on plus three traction control on one fuel mapping on one as well 
Um, so that's pretty much straightforward as the other race. It'll get you again to uh, lap five. So this is the flying lap. So you want to break at the 100 meter mark uh, into the corner, drop it down, and then as soon as you can, straighten the car up back in the accelerator, down this long straight, try and avoid, avoid the traffic as much as you can. Again, about 150, 100 meter mark, uh, hit the brakes, don't rear end anyone like I did there. And then obviously when the car straightens back up, go for the accelerator. Watch it, it can't, the back end can step out on that corner as well. So again, 150, one meter, 100 meter mark, brake into the corner, let it roll round, straighten it back up, back on the gas. And then come to the right hand side, looking for the 100 meter mark, so now where that line is there, brake and then brake again, little little dab of the brakes, third gear around this, keep to the right, follow the racing line, slight touch of the brake, off the gas, let it roll, and then back on now. And then again, keep with the racing line, keep to the left. Um, and you want to drop this one now, you want to brake now, 50 meter mark, drop it down to fourth gear, off the gas, let it roll and then straighten it, and then back on the brake again and let it roll and then back on the accelerator to so the start finish. So as I said to you before, you want to pit at lap five and as you can see in the skies, it will rain as soon as you come out of this pit stop. Don't change, I, I didn't change the tyres. I, st I stayed on hards. I managed to complete the race without changing my tyres. So I didn't use wet tyres, but I'd recommend putting them on just to be safe. Um, I, I did come off a few times because obviously it was raining and I was on hard tyres uh, but I still I was still comfortable so you don't have to change, change your tyres but I'd recommend it if you just want to play safe bang the intermediates on or the wets whichever you prefer um, refuel make sure you've got enough add over fuel to be honest on that one there is a refueling bug at the minute we've all noticed uh, we've got a video coming out on that, on all these bugs that have just been found. So as you can see, I still comfortably won, even though I was on racing hard tyres. But like I say, lap five, pit in, play safe, bang the intermediates on, or wet tyres. It's entirely up to yourselves. Um, and then we're moving on to the next one. So Asia Oceana, Fuji International Speedway is next up. So as I said before, this is again, you need uh, wet tyres and intermediates. Now, because obviously it's a new update, they've added this new feature, it's the shop. So you can purchase them um, while in race, which is pretty good. Should have had this in the beginning. Really good feature, happy with that. So again, plus three, fuel map one, and traction control on one as well. Um, because we've put the uh, fuel map in on one, that means this race is a two stopper. Um, so you will be stopping at the end of lap four. So you need to refuel. I wouldn't probably touch the tyres just yet. Um, it does start raining, but it's only light rain. You will manage to get away with it. If you want to play safe, put intermediates on. I stayed with hards and I was fine. Um, just refuel, that's the important thing. Always refuel to the end because we're two stopping here. It's important that you refuel it. Um, so like I say, it still start raining, but it's still fine. Uh, flying lap, if you're unfamiliar with this, you're looking for about the 100 meter mark, break heavy into this bend, drop it down to second gear, keep it to the right hand side. And then straight once it straightens up, go back on the accelerator. Now uh, you can do this flat out, but I'd advise braking because you'll end up going to the right hand side there, and then you're trying to recover it. So just brake at that, and then you'll be fine. Throttle, throttle control around this bend. You can do this flat out, and then again now brake heavy, off the brake, let it roll. Third gear, you're aiming for back on the accelerator. Uh, keep the race in line. To the right hand side and again and then you want to start braking now into this big heavy breaker don't be careful you don't go up too far ahead there so you're dropping that right down second gear 
and then follow the racing line, keep to the left, dab of the brake, let it roll back on the accelerator and then same again, brake early now, let it roll, hopefully the AI won't get in your way like they do for me, even though we're lapping them, brake now, into there, let it roll round, aim for the apex, straighten it back up and then they're over the start finish. So this is the way, like I said, he's a refueling bug, as you'll notice on the next pit stop which is coming up now so we're pitting in after at the end of lap eight now there's two laps left um i would recommend like i say is putting intermediates and wets on don't go for the uh, hards as you can see put intermediates on if you want to play safe put the wets on i just went for intermediates um, just gives you a bit more tread now the refueling book is here so you can see the little marker uh, I always overfill luckily for me but I still had an issue there because I didn't put enough fuel in so I'm on lap the final lap now and I noticed the mark come up and as you can see on the bottom right there I've had to change my, my fuel mapping to make sure I get to the end um, I've had to change it to six to make sure I got all the way round. Um, luckily, I did. It was, it was only me by chance that I noticed by checking uh, that I had enough fuel. So make sure you put overfill that. Uh, like I say, we will do a video on that. So I comfortably won anyway, regardless of that, and hopefully that will help you as well. So that's all three menu books done. Luca's going to be a happy man that we're heading back there now. And he's going to give us a nice roulette ticket. Five star. So I hope this video helps. Uh, if it did, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time.